John Cleese, 82, took to Twitter today to criticize the BBC following an interview with Grant Shapps. Grant appeared on Sunday morning and criticized Labour leader Keir Starmer over his support of rail workers going on strike. Following the interview, political commentator Adam Bayankov tweeted, Grant Shapps tells the BBC that we discovered today. That behind the scenes Keir Starmer has been encouraging the unions to go on strike. An obviously entirely untrue claim, not based on any actual reporting and left completely unchallenged. In response, a user called Mark shared an article from The Times which was headlined, Johnson tried to give Kerry top foreign office job during affair. Mark added in the caption, if only the BBC let their viewers know what else we discovered today. The Faulty Towers actor soon gave his take on the matter and brutally criticized the broadcaster. He raged in view of his 5.7 million followers, the BBC is now largely a gutless bureaucracy. A bunch of jobs worths, incapable of establishing a creative atmosphere, and concerned only with hanging on to their jobs. Express.co.uk has contacted the BBC for comment. This is not the first time John has blasted the organization. Back in December, the actor walked out of an interview with BBC World Asia and alleged that it was deceptive and dishonest. He later shared a series of angry tweets and confirmed that he was issuing a formal complaint. He raged, I just did an interview with BBC World Asia. It was to talk about the shows I'm doing in Singapore and Bangkok. Instead, the interviewer, whose name was, I think, Karishma, started asking me questions about cancel culture. I replied courteously and in full. She then asked a disjointed question, clearly trying to portray me as old-fashioned, uncaring and basically harmful. John became infuriated and walked off when the interviewer asked a question about American comedian, Dave Chappelle. He continued, I removed my headphones saying that this interview was not what I had agreed to. So I am formally complaining to the BBC about the deception, dishonesty and tone of this interview. He also made sure to mention that he did not storm out of the interview nor lose his temper. In 2020 he also slated the BBC for removing an episode of Faulty Towers from the UK TV streaming platform. He said it was cowardly and gutless when the 1975 episode, titled The Germans, was removed because it contained racial slurs, 